Since I can't bring my own ST back, we're riding in somebody else's ST. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So you guys know the mailman. It's been a minute since we've been inside this car. It's crazy because it's been a minute since I've even been inside of an ST. Right? So it's kind of cool to uh, sit in one. It's crazy how I abandoned my own ST. And so uh, I, that's crazy. I don't know how that even happened. Oh, it's because you have it like on a magnet. That's why. That's right, I abandoned mine too. <laughs> yeah. No, it, uh, it definitely feels cool to sit in another one. Because, uh, yeah, it's been a minute since we've been in ours. And I convinced him to drive this car today because I very much so miss one. And so we're going to take it on a little drive. We're going to meet up with Daniel with the RS. And uh, let's bring back the old days where, uh, you know, we used to cruise in the SDs. We're just. Oh, it up. Up. Perfect. So right away, the very first thing that I notice are these seats. I very much so miss these seats because you guys know in our Nismo we have like the base model 370Z seats that come in the base model 370Z. Only difference is since we have a Nismo, it just says Nismo on it. And which I was so close to picking up the V2 Nismo seats that come in the 370Z, the ones that say Nismo and it's like Recaro. I was so close for picking a pair up this week, but I kind of backed out because if I'm being honest, I just didn't want to spend the money, I'm going to be honest. But the thing is, I was getting it for such a good deal that it was it was literally on the edge of me not wanting to spend the money and like me just saying like, F it. But if you would have went like $300 lower, I probably would have did it, which, you know, I can't be too greedy from that aspect because they're already low, they're already cheap. But I, I was so close to picking them up. But we'll, we'll, we'll get them, just not now. I just, literally, I just, you know, swing. You know how you get in that mood, you just don't want to spend money. That was just the mood I was in. Now I understand what people mean. Because I remember when I used to drive the, the ST heavily, because you get used to the seats, right? I remember people always used to come in and be like, bro, I love these seats. Now I understand what they mean. They have fun. They just having fun. I've been driven up. Two days. <laughs> Well, it's been nice. Before that, like three weeks. Yeah, it's been like freaking 10 months for me. Almost I, a year, bro. I just watched it, but the landscapers got it all dusty. Yeah. It's almost been a year since we've driven our ST. So that's why I'm like, I'm kind of like geeked out right now. Shifting out the the sunroof with this one. I sell it. You gonna sell it? Yeah. yeah. I want the carbon fiber one again. The OEM one. Oh. It, yeah. uh, okay. Why? Because you think this is too high now? Yeah, I'm kind of over it. It's been it's been some time. It looks good, but I'm over it. I mean, yeah. The other one felt better. Just like. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. This was shifting over his head. <laughs> That's a whole weapon right there. That's like a nunchuck. That's cool though. I uh, I think what you need, and I can see it in your shifting, and obviously I know because like I, sure, I sat sure. in the driver. You need a no. You need shifter bushing, sir, to to stiffen up that shift. Cause like, look, let me see. Put it in neutral. Look. Obviously, you know you do have a weighted shift knob, and yeah, it's very weird. big. So this is weighted, and then this is weighted. Yeah, but it's like it's very. Yeah, the carbon one was notchy because it was light. Yeah, it's it just you just need to you need to tighten it up. Trust me, it's a huge difference. Anybody who doesn't have shifter bushings with their SD, you guys are missing out. Cause, Are they paint installed? Because I, I have the I have the Ford Performance short shifter, so it literally replaces this whole thing. So I had to take off this whole center console. And then I have the, the shifter bushings, which you have to do inside the engine bay. And it is the world of a difference. I'm telling you, if you guys do not have that. So if you guys don't know, that's Jose's other car that he wanted to drive. Just so we could see it rolling. Now let your homies drive your whips. This guy. I agree with that. Can we talk about this view though? Nice little mountain. It's high. I'm just happy to be sitting inside of a nice tea, to be honest. A clean It's been so long. Like I said, I now I understand what, when people say, bro, your seats are so amazing. It feels like they're hugging you. Because it's been almost a year since I've driven my ST. And like I get inside one, I'm like, bro, these seats are amazing. Like, they legit hug you. Can somebody tell this man to stop playing and 
Man, go big turbo. Please. Please. Gotta spend that money on a faster car. Oh my gosh, you can make this car faster. Yeah, but I feel like this car eh, it's cool where it's at. I don't care about speed. What what seven. car would you get? I already know what car, but right now if you had if you had forty thousand dollars. Alright, don't kill me now. Get a little happy then. <laughs> I'd rather sit in a faster car than proceed to do a full. Wait, what? I said you said I said go big turbo. You're like I'd rather sit in on a faster car and then proceed to do a full. <laughs> That's good. So if you have forty thousand to spend on a car right now, which car would you get? Just forty k. Forty k, yeah. Oh shit! I'm getting eight ninety two and three. Oh that. my <laughs> gosh! Uh, Fix hey. my tire. You want to see how fucked up my tire is? I want to see why you don't drive your car, sir. So. Yeah, but I was I was telling Jose this is why I like coming to Danny's house because it's like vibes. You guys see we got the trees. You know we got the park. Literally, it's right across the street from his house. It's pretty cool. Like I was saying, this is these are both of Jose's cars. So he okay, bought nice his ST, rigs. then he bought, of course oh, he has nice to, rigs, you know? of course he has to do that. <laughs> that means, that means yeah, two. That's my little collection, yeah, just yeah, missing one. You gotta put gas in both vehicles now. Nothing wrong with it. Big, in case you guys didn't know, this is big baller right here. Me? <laughs> you? <laughs> that's big baller right here. You see it? The rig, then the ST. Yeah, but he's planning on actually selling this, see, aren't you? Who said that? You said you you said you're gonna sell it. No, We've been no, telling no, him no, outside no. right now. We've no. been telling him to get an M4. Yeah, he said he was gonna sell like it get an M4. Or M, sorry, M3. Well, you don't like M4s? All right, guys. I know what do you think about this. What do you think about this? Should I go buy E9 to M3 tomorrow? Tomorrow. Let me know in the comments. Tomorrow. Never see, a see, look, see, look. I told you, tomorrow. I told you he was balling, right? That's told you. Tomorrow. So wait, wait, you would you would buy it and sell what car though? Yeah, I gotta sell. You got no space. Oh, shoo! Uh, I forgot. Yeah. My bad, bro. My bad. I forgot that quick. You Sorry. Space at your house? Big baller shot caller. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna be honest. The only reason why we are not driving our Focus ST, I'm gonna be transparent with you guys, is because to get that car back on the road, it is gonna cost me $1,000, right? Which is not really, I mean, it's a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but like, I'm, I'd be willing to do it. But at the time, I wasn't because I wasn't driving that car as much. Well, long story short, um, again, it's gonna cost me about $1,000 to get that car back on the road. And um, to kind of do it, I gotta kind of jump through hoops because I do live in California and I gotta put the car back to stock. <clears throat> um, if you guys do not know, we are looking to add another car to the channel pretty soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We currently have a bag and big turbo focus ST. It's been a minute since it's been on the channel, so for new subscribers, you guys have probably haven't even seen it yet, but we do have a bag and big turbo focus ST is making about 415, something like that to the wheels. Um, and then of course you guys see all the time our uh, top mount single turbo 370Z Nismo that's making about 600 to the wheels roughly. Um, so yeah, we're looking to add another car to the fleet. My thing is, I, I buy these cars with the intent of not selling them. Uh, and so when I say add another car to the channel, I literally mean add another car. So I'm not looking to sell any of my cars. But yeah, man, I couldn't be more excited. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And we are back with the guy with the blue uh, M3. I asked him if he was taking care of my car. You, wait, though, you said the hood? I should have left the hood open. Yeah, you should have. Wow, you, you should have. Yeah, you might as well, man. Looks good, though, guys, huh? In the sun. Nice and clean. Definitely would have to get this color if I were to get an E92 M3. Because at first I said white, but it would 100% have to be blue, bro. Seeing this color in person. This is the only one I've seen in person this close. And of course, this is PPF, so it makes it look more glossy. But yeah, it's very, very nice. Very, very nice. So we are at a BMW meet. So all these cars you guys are going to see are going to be, for the most part, BMWs. But we have this one that I showed you guys last time, too. Super clean. E46. BBS's on both of them too. Man, we saw them in the shop, but seeing them in the sun definitely hit different. As I stated last time too, we got worried that you'll never see another E46 this clean. Alcatara steering wheel, super clean. 
And this is this is a factory paint, by the way, too, in case you guys didn't know. I didn't know that until they said it. You actually really never see the 1Ms. And I believe this is the authentic 1M on the BBSs. Bro, these BMW guys just know how to do it. They got the HREs on this one. HREs on that one. It's crazy. HREs on this one. Man, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I were to... If I were to uh, get one of these, I would have to set my game up. There, there is no like cheaping out. You know what I mean? They're really nice. I like the the carbon on the back. I think those are like a uh, add-on. Obviously, they don't come like that. I believe you can like attach it. If I'm not mistaken. Carbon roof. This is nice, man. So here's my thing, though. We were talking earlier. I, 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 I like the look of F80s, F82s. I just do not like the sound of them. They just don't sound good to me. Oh, look, he has that. He has like that blackout plate. That's kind of cool to be honest. I think it's like a controller. You can like make it dark or, you know, clear or whatever. That's cool. But I just don't like the sound of F80 and F82s. They look good though. Definitely. And then we have a FRS. Or a random FRS in the wall. It's funny. And then we have this Terminator over here at a BMW meet. Dog, I actually wouldn't mind owning one of these. I've always thought that these were cool. They come factory supercharged. Pretty cool. They just, the thing with these is, it's very easy to find one clapped out. That's the only thing. My boy in the FD is with not starting. This is clean. On the BBSs? Got a full cage in there. Okay. My boy in the FD. The FD chop. Gotta love it. All right, so there's music over here, so I'm gonna try to drown it out, but long story short, E92, supercharged with the GT Haas exhaust. I know it sounds good. I asked him if he can give us the sound clip real quick. That sounds amazing, bro. Why would it start up? That sounds good. Let's look at the interior real quick, guys. So we have the Recaro seat. Got a Alcantara steering wheel. Got that yellow, little yellow uh, theme going on. Big brake kit. You guys got to understand. Whenever you see anybody with an E92 with these brick, big brake kits, ten racks, just like that, ten thousand. Not even, you know what I mean? Like, no negotiating. I'm sure it's just like ten racks automatically. That's crazy. No, this uh, car's in good condition though. Paint's good. This is nice. I like this. So what? Oh, you can see the. I like that. Again, guys, I'm trying to drown out the literally the music is coming right there, so I'm trying to drown it out. Yo, I absolutely love this intake manifold or the plenum because you can see the individual bottle bodies right there, dog. That's so sick. My first time seeing a boosted one in person. That is so clean. Yo. All right, guys, and we were gonna head out. It was a nice turnout. It was cool because we came here and we were just chilling with the homies, and then we actually met a couple people while we were here. So pretty cool. There's nothing like coming to a car meet, and instead of like just walking around looking at cars, you're actually talking to people, hanging out with the homies, meeting new people, talking about cars. I know a lot of us can agree with that, but what I will say is, whenever you're, and this goes for everything, whenever you're around something something good or bad and you're around it for like an extended period of time it always has an influence on you who knew i would make it this far they hated they never believe me yeah i would never drop the ball i know i make it look easy yeah mayweather with the defense i don't care what a critic got to say i got him picked another pieces got to me you really playing with your life i'm about to come and run it all back i'm the new ever about to snap back you ain't fitting for it cuz you all cap like